Hey, Chris Hagen here. I'm telling you, this is the best kept secret. This museum, that's right. We have a museum. I'm, I'm in the church right now, the Methodist Church here in Festus, Missouri, and they got classes going on. That's why I'm kind of whispering. But we've got a museum here. This is the entire Jefferson County. This is not just about Festus. It's not just about Crystal. It's not just about Herky. It's not just about High Ridge or where. It's about all of Jefferson County. Here is the museum. Now, before I get inside here and lose my train of thought, there is so much memorabilia in your homes, in the trunks, in the basements, in the attics. Do not throw this stuff away. Give it to the Jefferson County History Museum here, all right? Or if you think it's really valuable, then they can sign the documentation and make it a loan so that we can show the stuff. I'm telling you, the room looks really small, but it's full. And if you love Jefferson County and the history, you can spend hours in just an eight foot section. Come on inside with me here. Oh, looky here. I heard them talking, then they got quiet real quick. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the sign down. So we got uh, Bernard Laban. Lisa Gendron. Bill Haggard. Bill Haggard, all right. And here is the Jefferson County Museum. I'm calling it the History Museum. Can we start real quick? Here is a map. Who, who gave you the map? Well, it came from the History Center, actually. It was what was left in the trash of the History Center when they're getting ready to build the new one. Okay. So we that was kind of like they're so discarded. Yeah, well, so yeah, this is college. before Crystal City Plate Glass was built. This map was drawn in 1877. Yes. It was the proposed railroad for the... For the, the glass. Plant. The proposed railroad to get yeah. the glass and all the materials in and out. Right. So 1877, that qualifies as history to me. Real quick, <laughs> since I'm standing by it, and I don't know how well you can see this, what was this picture again? Well, they call ourselves the Dirty Dozen. The uh, Dirty Dozen. And photo what year? From 1899. This photo's from 1899, and you can see all the people. And then if you look down here, you can see the young, uh, which appears to be a black male that's sitting there with them. We don't really have any information about the picture. Right. Like so much of the history, we kind of lose, uh, you know, some of the context as far as yeah. what was there. But uh, you know, help me out, guys. We got lots of pictures here. There's lots of different photos. things. But first of all, you're open on Thursdays, six to eight. From six to eight. So yes. this is one day a week, two hour period of time. Now, when I grew up, I was in the Boy Scouts. Uh, my daughter was in the Girl Scouts. Can Boy Scouts and Girl Scout troops from all over the county get in touch with you to come here for a meeting? Absolutely. Yeah, get a hold of us. Our phone number, I guess the easiest phone number would be 573-701-3951. Okay. And that is on that card. And I'll put that on the Facebook page. And we page. can make special times for folks to come in if they can't make it 6 to 8 on Thursday. So if you can't, if you, the Scout troop can't make it, then we can set up a different time. You guys are yes. volunteers. I'm guessing you're not getting right. anything exactly. at all for nope. it which Bill's used to that because he volunteers constantly and never gets paid for anything that he does. <laughs> Imagine how much money you would have if they just paid you $10 an hour for all your... That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of great photos on the wall. The thing is, the pictures, like you said earlier, Chris, there's just so many pictures in people's closets, in their basements, their you know garages, hidden in shoe boxes. Go through those little pictures and bring them into us and let us... Borrow them, scan them, save them, them. Uh, yeah. display them. Come over here and I'll let you explain to the camera the shoe. Because something as simple as a, a little girl's shoe has just so much meaning to it. Well, this is the, um, the little button-up shoe in her sock there. And it was um, a Lily Mae Wilson's shoe. And she was left home with her brother while her parents went to town and he was cleaning his gun and it actually, actually accidentally went off and killed her. And so that was a memento that they saved of her to remember her by. This is the newspaper article that tells the whole story. It's very sad. Yeah, and, and we've got pictures of the train wreck. We've got all the different kinds of glass that was used here in, in Jefferson County, different telephones. Um, you know, I own a couple of buildings here on Main Street that have a lot of history, and, and it's fascinating because most of the people you talk to about it could care less. I mean, they 
could absolutely care less. And then other people, you'll sit there and show them a room at the old Commerce Bank building, and they're like, this is where the Ozark Telephone Company was. Yeah. All of the Yellowstone 7 stuff and all that, there was an operator that put all that stuff yeah, we've together. Got old, we've got old phones and old phone books on display uh, here. Yeah, and then, and then you got all the names. If you look over here behind Bill Haggard, uh, we've got pictures of the Ridgens. And I'm actually relatives with a bunch of the Ridgens, I think, in, uh, that I know in the Farmington area. And now probably here in the Jefferson County area also. Yes. We've got uh, memorabilia from the old, uh, I guess that was from the drive-in. The drive-in theater, yes. Yeah, and Everybody remembers that. And, 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 well, yes, yeah. we do. <laughs> and, and, and part of the point of showing you this is, is we're all proud... Uh, to be, you know, Missourians. We're proud to be from Jefferson County. We're proud to be this close to St. Louis and everything that a major metropolitan city offers. But what I wanted to do was do not throw this stuff away, okay? You can go over to Festus Library. They've got tons of stuff. You can go to DeSoto Library. they got tons of stuff. Don't throw this stuff away. You've got to get it to somebody that wants to preserve it. If it's at the library, that's wonderful, but people kind of got to dig around to find it. What we would like to see happen here, me personally, is just different groups coming through to tour it. And imagine the little kids coming through and seeing their great-grandparents' names, you know, on the wall and in the phone books and stuff like that. So we don't want to let this history just get thrown away. Even if you're going to recycle the paper, we don't want to recycle those old phone books. <laughs> it, they're, they're just too valuable. So... Uh, anything you want to add, Mr. Mayor? No. I, um, There's a lot of great things from Herculaneum that Bill's brought over. Yeah, I, I was collecting stuff um, for, for Herky, um, the school, the city, and dough runs. Um, and then when this started, I, I had, no, had it all in my basement. Right. In tubs. Yes. <laughs> and it's like, I, so, yeah. I need to get it somewhere yeah. where people can see it. Yeah. yeah. So. And there's people just like Bill. In Ware, Missouri, they're in uh, Dittmer, Missouri, uh, Cedar Hill, High Ridge, House Springs, uh, Hillsboro. Even even the different names that you don't even know. I mean, I'm in Platten, but you, which is now called Festus, but now it's called it used to be called Platten, and you got all these other little towns. One of my favorite stories is the first county seat, uh, I believe, or the first uh, state. First county seat. The first county seat was in Herculaneum. Right. And wasn't uh, the first... See, Herculaneum was a big deal back in the day. There still was... Is. Well, <laughs> still is. Thank you very much. For re <laughs> Bill Haggard for re-election. Okay, so, so there was no uh, Arnold School District, right? There was no Seckman School District. There was no uh, Windsor School District. Uh, probably go back a little bit farther. There at, was, at one time, uh, Herculaneum was... a northernmost uh, school district in Jefferson County yeah. and went all the way up to the Merrimack River and all the way over, you know, the Fenton area and uh, High Ridge, yeah. House Springs. So, yeah. I mean, those kids had to go a long yeah. ways to get to school. Right. And if I could say this, because I'm really, really, really wanting to do one on the Douglas School, that was when segregation and stuff was going on. Mm -hmm. So the blacks had their own schools that they had to attend. Mm -hmm. All right, and then as everything grew and times changed, and I like to talk about, you know, Ralph Tynes, uh, the superintendent of FESA school, ha had all of the, these changes that have gone through, maybe not in your lifetime, but people that are a little bit older. Uh, a lot of the World War II veterans, whenever I see them wearing a World War II hat, I ask if segregation was alive and well in Jefferson County, and they go, oh, well, yeah, yeah, because all that stuff didn't change until, I don't know, the late 50s, early 60s. Anyway, this is the Jefferson County Museum. I like to call it the Jefferson County History Museum. It's here in Festus right now. I, I can't urge you guys enough. Uh, if you got family in town and it happens to be on a Thursday night between 6 and 8, come on into the First United Methodist Church there by the uh, Festus Library here on Festus Main Street. Anything else yes. to add? No, you covered it all. Thank you so much. Perfect. He in. said I did a perfect job. <laughs> perfect perfect job. job. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. And um, I'll have a promo telling you when this uh, is going to air, but by then you've already seen it. Thank you very much.